Hi friends! Welcome back to Learning Time with Mora Bela. Yesterday, we baked some chocolate chip oatmeal bread together. And today, I am back with some flour and salt and water. But today, I'm going to use my ingredients to make an arts and crafts. I'm not baking, I am making salt dough. Do you want to come along and make it with me? I know sometimes you maybe have made some Play-Doh at home with your mommies and daddies, or we played with our Play-Doh at school. Today, I'm going to make a, a certain kind of Play-Doh that's called salt dough that we're then going to use and make some a candle holder for Shabbat or for any time you might want to light a little tea light, a little candle. Are you ready? I'm going to start with two cups of flour. Here is my cup measure, and I'm going to measure one cup of flour and put it into my metal bowl, and a second cup of flour, two cups of flour, one and two. Do you see the flour in my bowl? So I can close up my flour. The next thing I'm going to put is one cup of salt. Here is my salt. And I'm going to measure one cup in my red measurer. Pour the salt. This is a lot of salt. Usually we just put a little bit into our cookies or our cakes. Up. One cup of salt. And I can pour, pour, pour my salt today, pour. Pour, pour my salt today. Pour, pour, pour my salt today. Pour my salt today. Ah! I ran out of salt. I used so much. I'll be right back in one minute with some more. All right, I came back and now I have this big box of salt and I'm going to finish filling my cup measure of white salt. Ah! There is my, here is my salt. All of my salt can go into my bowl. Ah, do you see all the white salt and flour? The last thing I'm going to put is three quarters of a cup of water. So I'm going to put three of these. Can you count with me? One. And and number three. And now I have salt, flour, and water in my bowl. I'm going to go get a spoon to mix. And now I can use my spoon to mix. And if I need afterwards, I will use my hands to mix. Do you see me mixing? And I can mix, mix, mix my salt dough. Mix, mix, mix my salt dough. Mix, mix, mix my salt dough. Mix my salt dough today. Ah, and it's starting to mix together. It's almost time for me to use my hands. All right. I can take my hands and mix all of the ingredients together. Oh, and it's starting to turn into dough. And while I mix, should we sing a Shabbat song? Because I am thinking to use my salt dough to make a, a, a candle holder for my Shabbat candles that I light on Fridays right, right before Shabbat so I can sing. Can you make your angel eyes? We can sing the Shabbat angels are peeking through my window as Ema lights the candles and we all go to show the Shabbat. 
that angels are peeking through my window as Ema lights the candles and we all go to show. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to every one of you. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to every single Jew. Today, on the day I took this video, it's only Tuesday, but maybe you'll watch it on Thursday or Friday closer to Shabbat, or we can think about Shabbat even on Tuesdays, because I am excited for Shabbat and Holy Week. I'm going to pour a tiny bit more water into my dough because it's a little bit too dry. Ah, and now I can mix it in. Or I could have added a little bit of oil to make it a little bit smoother, but today I didn't want to use that. I just wanted to use my water. So now I can mix it. Oh, and do you see it? It's really turning into a dough that I can use to make my craft. Oh. Or if you want to just keep it and play with it as Play-Doh, that works too. All right, my salt dough. It is ready. Now I'm going to make it some colors to use for my candle holder. Today I want to do two colors so I can split it in half. And I think I want to start with some blue. So I can take out my blue food coloring. Here is my blue. And here is one ball of my of my salt dough oh, and I can squeeze one two three four more drops of blue food coloring do you see it on my dough and I can mix it together oh, now it's a hiding is it gonna come back out soon let's see oh it's starting to get on my hands a bit coloring into my salt dough. Oh, do you see the color is starting to come out? And while I mix, I think I want to play a game of, of Mora Says, or Simon Says. I'm going to tell you to what something that you should do, and you're, you're going to put your hands on that piece part of your body, or wave them, or whatever I tell you to do with your hands. Hmm. Mora says to put your hands on your belly. Can you put your hands on your belly? <gasps> oh, you did it, Ad. Mora says to put your hand on your nose. Can you put your finger on your nose? Mora says to touch your toes. Touch your toes. Up. And wait, Mora wants to show you that my dough is starting to turn blue. I might have to add a little bit more food coloring, but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. If you want your dough to be very bright, maybe add like six or seven drops of food coloring, because I only did four, so it's not so bright. Mora says, put your hands on your shoulders. Laura says to wave your hands so high in the air. Ah. And Laura says to touch your knees. Can you find your knees? All right. My dough is a very light blue. And I can show you what it looks like compared to the piece bit how it started. This is the piece of my dough that I didn't color yet, and this is my blue dough. Do you see the difference? All right, now I'm going to make my other dough a color. This time I'm going to make this dough, I think I'm going to make it red. All right, so I'm going to put six drops of red into my dough. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six drops and I'm going to mix it. I think I'm going to skip this part. So when I come back in one second from the camera, it's gonna be mixed in. All right, now I have one ball of red dough and one ball of blue dough. And I'm going to take some of them, some of each, and make a candle holder for Shabbat. Are you ready to do that with me? Let me take the blue dough that I need and the red dough. And I'm going to make them skinny. And I'm going to mix them a little bit, but not so much. So it's still marbled. So you can see some red and some blue, not mixed all the way together. But you can do whatever colors you want or however much you want to mix it. This is really up to you to decide if you're making this craft. All right, now I have a ball of red and blue. It kind of looks like cotton candy. Do you see it? Now I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to press it down into a flat piece. See? Now it's time for me to turn it into a candle holder. I can take a tea light candle and push it into my dough. And turn it and move it a little bit to make it to make a hole, a slot in the middle that you could put your candle in every week before Shabbat. Do you see it? Ah, I can put my candle in. And then when it's done, I can take it out and put a new one in next week and I can widen the slot a tiny bit. Ah, here is my candle holder. Hooray, I made it. I want to make mine a little bit more beautiful. So today I brought some beads and I can put them into the sides of my candle holder. I can poke my beads into my tea light holder. Poke, poke, do you see it? And I can put my beads all around, but not in the middle, because that's where the candle goes. Here are my beads. Was done. Uh, I can poke, 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 poke my beads in, poke, poke, poke my beads in, poke, poke, poke my beads in, poke my beads today. Uh. All right, now I am, now I am all done with my candle holder and I can let it dry on the windowsill and then you can use it every week to put a tea candle in and light it for Shabbat and then take one out and put another in next week. Here it is. Goodbye friends, thank you for making this with me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful, happy day.